Nestled amidst the dense Nalagiri forests of Andhra Pradesh, Sri Sailam stands as a testament to India's rich history and natural splendor. This ancient town, perched on the banks of the sacred Krishna River, has been a beacon for pilgrims and a stronghold for empires for centuries. Its rugged terrain conceals forgotten forts, their crumbling walls whispering tales of valiant kings and forgotten battles. The air hums with the chants of devotees visiting the revered Malikarjuna Jyotirlinga Temple, one of the 12 Jyotirlingas dedicated to Lord Shiva. The very air seems to vibrate with an ancient energy, a palpable blend of faith and history that captivates the soul. Sri Sailam's natural beauty is as captivating as its history. The dense forests surrounding the town are a vibrant tapestry of flora and fauna, home to tigers, leopards, sloth bears, and a symphony of bird songs. Cascading waterfalls, hidden caves, and the meandering Krishna River create a landscape of breathtaking beauty. This harmonious coexistence of nature and spirituality lends Sri Sailam an ethereal charm, making it a destination that speaks to the very core of India's soul. Sri Sailam's geographical location has played a pivotal role in shaping its destiny. Positioned at the southern tip of the Deccan Plateau, it served as a natural gateway between North and South India. This strategic location attracted empires like the Satavahanas, Ikshvakus, Chalukyas, Vijayanagara and Kakatiyas, who left their indelible mark on the region's cultural landscape. Each dynasty, drawn to Sri Sailam's strategic importance and spiritual aura, contributed to its architectural heritage, leaving behind a legacy of magnificent temples, intricately carved gateways and imposing forts. The Krishna River, flowing through deep gorges and valleys, added to the region's strategic significance. It served as a natural barrier against invaders and a lifeline for the people. The river's sacred waters, believed to possess purifying powers, further enhanced Sri Sailam's religious importance. This confluence of geographic and cultural influences created a unique identity for Sri Sailam, making it a microcosm of India's diverse historical and spiritual tapestry. Sri Selam's landscape is dotted with remnants of its glorious past. Crumbling ramparts of ancient forts stand sentinel on hilltops, bearing silent witness to centuries of history. These forts, once bustling with activity, now lie in silent repose, their weathered stones whispering tales of valor, intrigue and conquest. Each stone, each fallen pillar, holds within it the echoes of the past, waiting for the discerning traveler to decipher their silent language. The most prominent among these is the Srisailam Fort, believed to have been built by the Vijayanagara rulers in the 16th century. Strategically perched atop a hill overlooking the Krishna River, the fort controlled access to the region and served as a vital defense outpost. Within its walls, the Vijayanagara kings established a flourishing city, evident from the remnants of palaces, temples and water tanks. The fort's strategic location, coupled with its impressive fortifications, made it a formidable stronghold that played a key role in the power struggles of its time. Today, the Sri Salam fort stands abandoned, its once imposing walls crumbling under the relentless march of time. Yet, the silence speaks volumes. As you walk through its ruined gateways and climb its crumbling ramparts, you can almost hear the echoes of the past, the clang of swords, the trumpeting of elephants, the whispered conversations of courtiers all seem to linger in the air, remnants of a bygone era. Local legends abound about the fort's final days, some whisper of a fierce battle that raged for days, the ground running red with the blood of brave soldiers. Others speak of a cunning siege where the defenders held out against impossible odds before succumbing to hunger and thirst. One popular tale recounts the story of a brave princess who, refusing to surrender to the enemy, chose to jump from the highest point of the fort, her laughter echoing through the valley as she fell. Whether these stories are true or simply the product of overactive imaginations, they add an air of mystery and intrigue to the already captivating atmosphere of the abandoned fortress.